Hey guys, uh, this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we are going to do the review of the camera on the Lava Iris X8. So the Lava Iris X8 is a new flagship phone for the company which was released a couple of weeks back and it comes with a 5 inch uh, HD display, octa core processor, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB internal storage and an 8 megapixel rear camera with dual LED flash and a front facing 3 megapixel camera. So all in all for a price of Rs. 8999 this device does have really great specs. Now let's see the camera performance. So, so the competition uh, uh, for the Lava Euro 6 8 is the U Eureka which is again priced 8999 and also the Xiaomi Redmi Note uh, uh, which is uh, available for uh, the 9999 that is the 4G variant. So let's see the camera interface and also see this photo quality and see how good the camera is on the Lava Euro 6 8. So let's start get started with the interface. So this is the camera interface of the Lava Iris 6 8. So we can see the settings here. So on the left you have the settings. So here we have the beauty face, the option to select the exposure, white balance, ISO. Uh, then uh, you have the timer option. So these are the standard set of options. Uh, the exposure, white balance, uh, timer, ISO and also uh, the beauty face. So these are the options on the uh, left side at the bottom uh, if you go here you have a, a gesture shot then you have HDR uh, flash can be selected to auto default or always on then you have the option to switch to front facing camera and finally the option to scan via QR codes so you can just click here and uh, scan a QR codes so you can just see this option so that's a uh, very useful thing so that was the camera interface on the left side now you can see on the right side you have the option to view the gallery that's on the top then you have the camera buttons the photo camera and the video so those two are buttons integrated into one single button then you have the modes so we have the normal mode then uh, you have the live photo mode um, below you have the face beauty mode uh, then the panorama so these are the three four modes available now for the general camera settings you have to press this uh, menu so you can see the general options gps exposure color effect screen mode white balance again you can change this from here as well now going to the photo mode we have a uh, uh, zero shutter delay voice capture face detection uh, upload facebook shutter sound a smile shot uh, hdr self timer continuous shot so these are the, the normal set of options you find on uh, most of the camera phones now here is one surprise for you so according to the uh, the company this device has an 8 megapixel sensor with dual LED flash and if you go here you can see the picture size so you can see the 10 megapixel option here we are not really sure why there is a 10 megapixel uh, option uh, highest should have been 8 megapixel because it's an 8 megapixel camera but here we have an option for 10 megapixels so we have selected the 10 megapixel we are not really sure the camera has a 10 megapixel sensor but there is an option in the picture size to select uh, 10 megapixel now you have the pre preview size that's uh, the full screen or the standard 4 is to 3 aspect ratio then you have the iso face beauty etc on the uh, video mode you have the image stabilization the microphone audio mode time lapse interval and video quality can be 720 or 1080p or you can it can be even lower to sd quality so overall the features looks pretty good uh, there is good amount of features included in the camera we have the options like hdr panorama we can record in 1080p so almost all set of features are included but the interface is slightly confusing we have some options here we have some options at the bottom and the finally some options are on the uh, menu button so uh, it's it's managing the camera interface is not really that uh, user friendly but still it's uh, once you get used to it uh, you can just change it uh, uh, pretty easily so that was the camera interface now let's go to the photo settings so here are the daylight captures taken with this camera so as you can see from the daylight captures the photos are pretty decent quality uh, there is good colors uh, the colors look pretty natural but the real problem is the sharpness uh, the, the sharpness is missing and uh, the photos look a uh, lot softened and uh, doesn't have that great detailing uh, but the colors look uh, pretty good so uh, the overall quality is pretty decent for a camera in the budget category but it may not be comparable to the u eureka where it has a 13 megapixel camera and it can capture more details than the lava iris x8 now here are the macro shots uh, as you can see from the macro shots the colors are in really consistent some areas it's it's kind of oversaturated but at times it is under saturated and uh, looks uh, uh, washed out so overall it's a pretty average camera in the daylight shots now let's move on to the low light capture so here are the low light photos 
So as you can see from the low light captures, the images are a lot noisier than the daylight shots. That's obvious because this is this is a camera not intended really for low light photography, and uh, it's it's pretty average camera in the low light performance. So, so it's a lot noisier, and uh, again the images look a lot softened, uh, which is not really desirable. And uh, the, the the sharpness levels are way way too low for this uh, device in the low light captures. Now the one good thing about uh, the phone is the dual LED flash which can come uh, really handy. Uh, you can see here the uh, captures taken in uh, the low light with the flash and it has come really great. The colors have been maintained well with the flash and uh, it, it doesn't overexpose the photo and it looks pretty accurate. The flash dual LED flash is pretty accurate and is one good strong point of the camera. Now moving on to the video recording, this phone can record videos in 1080p and here is the video capture taken from the device. So as you can see from the video or recording which was taken in 1080p, again uh, the clarity looks pretty good but again the sharpness levels are missing that's one big uh, issue with this camera. And as you can see from the video the continuous autofocus creates an undesirable effect on this uh, video. Uh, so it keeps on focusing every time and uh, you can see uh, the camera the video recording jumps here and there that's because of the autofocus uh, so that's uh, another issue with this uh, device uh, in the video capture mode so overall uh, the video capture looks pretty average not really something uh, uh, really great of the camera although it has a 10 megapixel sensor according to uh, the settings uh, the camera doesn't look uh, really that great when uh, when compared to the U Eureka now the device also has a 3 megapixel front facing camera but unlike other lava phones this does not have a front facing flash but the 3 megapixel uh, shooter is pretty decent for selfies and video calls uh, although the quality is in that great it can produce decent selfies in this category uh, so that was the 3 megapixel uh, camera on this uh, device the front facing 3 megapixel camera. So we have now covered the photos as well as the video quality of uh, this device. So overall, uh, this, this is a pretty average camera. It's not bad camera, but it's not really the best also in this price point. So it's an average camera. It does perform uh, under certain light conditions. Uh, the, the real thing is that you need to uh, keep the camera and also focus the right objects. Then only you will get the perfect colors and also uh, quality. So otherwise, it's a pretty average camera. And it will not beat the U Eureka. Uh, Eureka's 13 megapixel camera because um, uh, the sharpness levels are way too low in this uh, device when compared to the U Eureka and also the Xiaomi Redmi Note. So that's pretty obvious because this has an 8 megapixel sensor while the U Eureka and the Xiaomi Redmi Note have uh, the 13 megapixel sensor. So that's the camera review of the Lava Iris X8. So overall it's a pretty average camera in this price point. So there are many other cameras like the U Eureka and the Redmi Note which beats the Lava Iris X8. So that is a detailed review of the camera on the Lava Iris X8. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.